Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's day 26 of no stemming and a lot of anxiety came up last night and I'd like to share some tips on how to reduce anxiety when you're trying to quit stemming or addictions or whatever. And this is just my journey. So welcome to the channel. Uh, let's get started. So around 5 p.m. yesterday, I did a hypnosis, one hour social anxiety hypnosis by Michael Seeley. And what he does during the hypnosis is he goes back, he wants you to go back to the earliest childhood memory where you felt anxiety. So this time I felt like going back further than five years old, which is usually where I start. And I kind of made up a scenario. And, you know, the classroom was probably different than what I remembered, or I just, I just kind of did a shot in the dark and created a memory that I don't know is completely true or not. But I'm pretty sure I was super nervous in preschool when I was four years old. So I visualized being in a classroom, sitting at my desk, uh, four years old, super, super nervous. And what Michael Seeley wants you to do is go back as the adult you and hand that little boy or girl a ball of starlight, of wisdom and strength that you hold as an adult. And then you comfort your inner child in that, in that memory. You say, you know, it's okay, you're loved. Everything's going to be okay. I will never leave you. You're safe. You're protected. Whatever words you want to use to comfort your inner child. And then you merge with your inner child, okay? And what that does is it basically fixes that trauma. So then you can start healing yourself as an adult. And maybe we can reduce our stimming and our anxiety that way our low self-esteem, low self-worth, whatever. Inner child work is just phenomenal. And something happened though that was different because normally when I do inner child work, I don't feel that much different afterwards. Maybe I laugh a little bit more, like my inner child is coming out and I'm able to laugh a little bit more and let my guard down. But last night, See, we're moving in five days, and that's really scary because I've been alone for three years, just my fiance and I, but I mean, we're, we're in the middle of the woods, and I haven't seen anyone for three years. And uh, we're moving in five days back to Texas, and my body feels it. But I think that inner child work that I did, really, I think I really hit a bullseye with that one. Because last night, I felt a lot of fear and anxiety come up. I was almost trembling in bed with anxiety. And I don't think it was just about the move. I think I really, I think I nailed a uh, bad memory, a trauma. First day of school, first day of preschool. And so what that does is that this is where most addicts and stemmers run because they start to feel uncomfortable. They have to start moving around, doing busy work, stimming more, rocking back and forth more, uh, trying to run into addictions, eating more sugar, whatever, whatever your vices are. And last night I was like, man, I really, I can't handle this. You know, I, I, I hate feeling anxiety. I hate feeling scared and I've always had coping mechanisms ever since I was eight when I started rocking back and forth. I did not want to feel uncomfortable. I did not want to feel anxiety. So <clears throat> last night I faced it, which is what we should be doing. We should really be sitting still and facing 
all the anxiety, all the uncomfortable feelings coming up. That is the work, guys, and we are on the right track. If you can sit with your anxiety and your uncomfortability and just let it come up. Because every time we run from that, every time we take a drink or smoke or whatever, that stuff never gets to come out. And it has to come out to be processed and to be dealt with once and for all. And our subconscious knows what to do. But if we keep getting in the way of the process of healing by running from it, we push it back down, we're not going to do any of the work. So I feel better now, but I'm gonna, of course I'm going to keep doing this hyp hypnotherapy every single day until we move down back to Texas because I'm, we're going to be living with Misha's uh, sister and her husband. And uh, it's a very humbling experience because, you know, just a year ago I thought we were going to be homeowners and now we're moving in with her family. So it's been a very humbling time, but I, it's a blessing in disguise because my whole brand is changing. I'm not doing network marketing anymore. Uh, I'm not doing affiliate marketing anymore. I'm, I want to help people with addictions and with Asperger's. So basically all, the, all of this crap, this last year, everything, political, financial, spiritual, physical, all of this stuff has led up to this point where I will emerge as a new person. And uh, of course, change is very uncomfortable, especially if you have autism or Asperger's. Change is super scary. So I'm going to give you some techniques that I, I'm using to uh, ground this uh, anxiety. And uh, the first one is um, to sit still and visualize a cord going down into the earth. Okay, it could be a crystal shaft, it could be a cord, it could be a cable. But what you want to do is you want to take that cord down from the base of your spine down into the core of the earth. Mother Earth, okay, and anchor it, okay? That's the first thing you can do. Another thing you can do is deep breathing, okay? So when you breathe in, breathe in five counts, okay? So it'd be one, one, two, three, four, five. And then when you breathe out, visualize, when you breathe out, visualize all that stress going down your shaft into Mother Earth. You want Mother Earth to digest it for you. It's kind of like you're flushing your, your spiritual toilet, so to speak. Okay? So work on your breath. Slow down your breathing. The other, other thing you can do is inner child work, hyp hypnotherapy. Like I said, the social anxiety one by Michael Seely is really good. And then there's mantras. So there's one that I really like. There's a couple actually that I really like. And one is called Hono Pono, Hono Pono. And it, you basically say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now, you can say that towards your inner child because your inner child could be scared of your actions and has hidden, has been hidden for many, many years. I know because I've done inner child work in the past, but then, you know, a day later I'm fapping and eating sugar and cussing and, and it scares my inner child back into myself. And I can't do work when the inner child is hiding. So basically, this is like a, an apology to your inner child. You can also do it to other people. You can say it to yourself. You don't say it out loud. You can actually, you can visualize other people and say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. This came from a doctor in Hawaii. I think his name could have been Hono Pono or something like that. And he did that to all of his patients in a mental hospital. He was a doctor. 
And after two years of doing Honoopono, the hospital closed because all the, all the uh, patients left. The Honoopono worked. So try to feel it from your heart when you say it. And there's variations. So another one I say is, um, I love you. You're safe now. Um, and you are supported. And you could say that as, to your inner child. I love you. You're safe now. You are supported. Or you are loved. So when you say those things enough to you, because we all have self-worth issues. If you have Asperger's or autism or if you're a recovering addict or you're still using, we have very low self-esteem. Usually we're beaten down from drugs and alcohol and uh, we're still dealing with wounds from our childhood. That's why I keep talking about inner child work because pretty much all of what we're doing as adults is either running or healing our past. Running from our past or healing our past. Running from our past could be using drugs and alcohol, whatever. Or even, you know, trying to get status in society, working really hard to make that money, you know? Because really you have low self-esteem and you're trying to get, you're trying to get approval from others by status. A lot of people, a lot of guys do that. They work their butts off to make a million dollars because they basically want to add a boy that they never got from their fathers. A lot of them, I'm not saying every one of them. So, positive affirmations, mantras, self-talk. You know, you could wake up in the morning and say, you know, I'm, I'm really proud with what, with what you're doing, Eric, you know. You're doing really good. I'm proud of you. You could say that to yourself every single morning. Or if you need to work on your, you know, healing your inner child, you could say, I love you. I'm sorry. You're safe now. You're loved. You know? So that's basically it. The breathing, the hypnosis, the self-talk. And try to get off of caffeine because, uh, you know, that instant caffeine, that instant coffee is really hard on you. I just, I just kicked it again. I bought another jar of instant for lasted a week and I was off of coffee for three days. We were just doing yerba mate, which is a really clean caffeine from South. It's a, looks like loose tea from South America and it gives you a clean energy and instant coffee it's like crack stop using instant coffee for three or three to five days and see and then try instant coffee again and you'll see what i mean how sketchy how sketchy it is and acidic so and if you're eating sugar switch to stevia those two things alone would greatly reduce your anxiety. Stevia might taste a little funny at first, um, but then you're, you'll get used to it and then it'll taste like sugar. I think it's a lot better than sugar. So, Life is a trip, it's a wild ride. Glad to be alive still. We're moving back to Texas. It's gonna be, it's gonna be warmer. We're gonna be around family. We're gonna be around her family. And you know, I'm tired of running. I'm tired of isolating. I'm tired of just, you know, 26 days ago I was rocking 14 hours a day zoning out, daydreaming, just listening to music, the same thing I've done for the last 40 years. And 
God was like, it's time, you know, it's time to do something with the 40 years of stimming, you know, inspire and help others to quit. That's my new mission in life. It's not network marketing. It's not affiliate marketing. It's not even really blogging. It's helping you guys. I help, hopefully I help a few of you as I help myself because life is a trip. And this is day 26. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Welcome to the journey. I'm really glad you're here. We're gonna do this together, guys. I mean, I'll let you know how Texas goes because I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. But the grounding this morning really helped and I'm gonna keep working on my inner child and try to give provide him a safe environment so he can come back and heal completely which will reintegrate him into the adult Eric. Might sound a little woo-woo to you, but it really does work. You know, one week of inner child work and I find myself laughing more and being playful more and it really does work, guys. So hang in there. I love you. God loves you. You're safe now, okay? To stay away from those substances and life will get better.